Hi guys, Liz Truss isn't very good at doing interviews. She has her set script and when she sticks to it, it comes off as both wooden and robotic. Someone repeating fixed phrases and not in control. Because if she attempts to wing it, just try to answer questions on the fly, she crashes and burns. The problem with her style is that when asked a serious and important question, she dodges it and in a very blatant and dishonest way. Here she was asked whose side she was on when it comes to banker bonuses, the banks or the people, and it didn't go well. Lots of families at the moment are really struggling and they'll see that one of the things you're happy to see happen is for bankers to get bigger bonuses. Whose side are you on? What I want to see is... She didn't answer the question. Whose side are you on? Now she starts talking about the economy and what she's going to do for it. This was a specific question. One of the things you're doing is you're ending the cap on banker bonuses. Now, I think this is a political decision. I don't think it's an actual economic decision. It's not actually going to really change anything, but it's throwing some sweeteners to the banks, to the donors, to the very rich people in society saying, we are on your side. We didn't have to do this. It's not going to really help you. And what I, what I mean by that is the way around this cap, this limit, was that banks were just paying their staff more. So at the end of the year, instead of calling it a bonus, we'll call it a pay rise. And that was the way around it. So there was no real benefit here apart from a sort of economic virtue signaling. It's a growing economy. So everybody in our country has the high paid jobs that they deserve. Now, what she's told, and I think she's prepped for this, she has somebody training her to speak. And it's always the same sort of language high paying jobs, new businesses, investment, uh, grow the economy. It's completely disconnected from reality because people are struggling to pay their bills at the moment. They're not getting higher paid jobs. And even those who want to have higher pay in their jobs, when they go on strike over it, what does Liz Truss and our government do? Well, they crack down on that and they say, well, if you continue to strike, we're going to bring in legislation that will replace you with agency workers, which will be low paid. The, the investment into their town or city or, or area, the new business is being set up. That's the kind of Britain that I want to see. And if and that, that means, means the rich get richer, that's if, fine. If that means taking difficult decisions, which are gonna help Britain become more competitive, this is a long-winded way of saying yes. If the rich get richer, that's fine. If the poor get poorer, well, that's the consequence of trickle-down economics. I'm here to help the rich because they're the ones who donate to the party. You know, I'd actually have more respect for Liz Truss if she just said it like that. She said, these people donate to the party, so we're going to look after them. We're not going to look after people who don't donate to the party. You know, and MPs are quite cheap at the moment. £5,000 will get you an MP. <laughs> you know, it's not that expensive. I know it's, a it's out of many people's price range, but, you know, a second-hand car, <laughs> you could, it's cheaper than, a, than many second-hand cars. So, she's not actually selling herself very well here. Which side are you on, the rich or ordinary people? And she tar started talking about the economy. Then when she's pushed on it, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Is that a price you're willing to pay? And she says, yes. Help Britain become more attractive, help more investment flow into our country. Yes, I'm absolutely prepared to take those decisions because what I care about is I care about our country being successful and everyone in our country, wherever they live, wherever they're from, having those opportunities. What opportunities? There are no opportunities. There is a recession coming. I would love for her to be challenged on this. What are these opportunities you're talking about? You're willing to do unpopular things if you think it can contribute to, to a bigger economy. That, that's right. And I will always work to make sure that we are helping those who are struggling. That's <laughs> so I'm going to help those who are struggling by, by first and foremost, ending a cap on banker bonuses. 
Is anyone convinced by this? Is anyone still convinced by this? Some people were convinced by it. Is anyone still convinced by this? Does anyone think, yeah, Liz Truss is on my side. I'm not a banker. I'm not earning, you know, four or five million pounds a year. I'm not going to get a bonus of hundreds of thousands of pounds. Uh, but I, I think it's important that we do allow these bankers to get these bonuses. And I think it's important that she's focusing on this first. A cost of living and energy bills and everything second. No, first and foremost, we must focus on the important people in society. The ones who are earning massive bonuses. And then what do they do with that money? Well, they buy Ferraris with it or they shovel it into an offshore bank account. That's why we took the action that we took on energy bills, because we didn't want to see households facing unaffordable bills. Unaffordable, you don't want households facing unaffordable bills, but that's what's happening. People are facing unaffordable bills. The price cap is at 2,500 now. It was 1,971. If people can't pay the bills now, how are they going to pay at a higher cap? Now, hopefully prices will drop, but I don't know if that's going to be passed on to the consumer. That's the problem. The wholesale price may drop, but it's not passed on to the final user of that gas or electricity. Liz Truss, once again, demonstrating that she should be nowhere near the levers of power. And I've said this before. The problem is that Liz Truss is now surrounding herself with people who believe it's a wonderful idea. These right-wing think tanks, these are the, her advisors at the moment. They're saying it's a wonderful idea to uh, deliver tax cuts to the mega rich. It's a good idea to lift this cap on banker bonuses. It's a good idea to privatize the NHS. It's a good idea to crack down on trade unions, make it, make it impossible for them to operate. And if they do go on strike, will replace them with agency workers. These are the people advising Liz Truss at the moment. And Liz Truss is probably, and you know, I, I'll take this back if I'm wrong, but probably worse than Boris Johnson because she's easily manipulated. She used to be anti-monarchist. Now she's a monarchist. She used to be a liberal Democrat. Now she's a conservative. She used to be a Remainer. Now she's a Brexiteer. There's not some sort of transition that took place because of reason or because of good arguments or anything like that. It was clearly political and it was a, about benefiting her career. That was all it was, ever was. She wanted to become prime minister one day and she knew if I follow this road, I will get there. Does it mean sacrificing my beliefs, my principles? Well, I don't actually have any to begin with, so there's nothing to sacrifice. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.